The Romanovsky roulette system uses eight units to cover 32 numbers on the roulette wheel. That means on a single zero roulette table, it has a better than 85% chance of winning $100. But that's not the whole story. The odds of success go down the more times that you play, and the type of wheel that you play on has a major impact on the success rate. I programmed 100,000 bots to play this strategy, and today we're going to go over the results. But first, let's see how the system actually works. The Romanovsky method uses eight units to win one unit. So what that means for us today is we're going to play $100 units and we're going to need $800 to start off. So we start off with $300 each on the second dozen and the third dozen. And then we have $100 each on two non-overlapping corner bets. Now, each one of these, if they hit, we're going to have a net win of $100. Let's go ahead and spend 30 the so red. 30 red. So we won this dozen. That means we won $600. We lost $500. We net $100. We're going to do this three times. We're going to try to get a $300 win, and then we're going to stop. So we place the bets again. Exact same setup. We're not going up. We're not going down. $100. 12. This red. Time. It's a 12. We won a corner bet. That wins $800, loses $700 for a net of $100. Our net profit, total profit, is $200 now. We're going to go for a third try. Place our bets, exact same bets as I said. 17 now it's black. 17, the middle dozen won. And this won $600, lost $500, net of $100. Our profit, we hit our profit goal of $300, and the bots are going to stop playing. Now I'm going to program 100,000 bots to play this. I'm going to produce a report. We're going to go through it, and we're going to learn all kinds of information, so stay tuned. And by the way, my name is Matt, and I run simulations of craps and roulette systems. You may know me from my other channel, Dice Data. This is my first video on roulette on my new channel, so it would help me very much if you would like and subscribe to this channel, and also share it with your friends. That'll help me get off to a great start, and I appreciate it very much. Now let's dive in. Okay, so here's our simulation report, Romanovsky at the $100 level. Let's take a look and see what we're going to learn. So what did we do? We simulated 100,000 bots on each of the three different wheel types, the single zero, the double zero, and the triple zero. 100,000 bots each. And on average, they did 2.6 or 2.5 spins per session. So you can see the number of spins, about 260, 250,000 spins that we've simulated in this set today. We start off by looking at the house edge. So we have house edge for single zero 2.53 that came in just a little bit less than the theoretical maximum, which is 2.7%, 5.41% on the double zero, 7.65% on the triple zero. So this is money that is retained by the house when you win. And we're gonna see that this has a major effect on the overall outcomes that we see later in the report. The 2.53, we give that a rating of a moderate house edge. Elevated for double zero, which is 2.41. Triple zero is substantial. It is a substantial, the shirt notwithstanding, it is a substantial house edge when you're playing on a triple zero roulette wheel. But what's more important than the house edge is how often and how much these bots actually won. So now we're going to go into the session outcomes. Now, remember that I mentioned there was over 85% chance of winning when you do this exactly one time, but this time we're doing it three times. So the overall chance of winning definitely decreases. It goes down to 65% on a single zero roulette wheel, um, just under 60% on double zero and only 55% on the triple zero. How much did they actually win? Well, the typical winnings is $300 because more than half the time the bots are winning that $300 and they're stopping. The middle 50% is between a loss of, you know, six or $700 to a win of $300. The middle 90% of the players is between an $800 loss, $300 win. And that's just the nature of this particular strategy. So our bots, they only had $800. They only really had one try to get the strategy to work. 
if they immediately lost that $800, they didn't have enough to play the strategy in for the next round. So 35% of the bots had to stop due to in insufficient funds, 65% because uh, they hit their win goal. Here's the histogram of the session profit and loss. So on the X axis, we have the amount won or lost. And on the Y axis, we have the percent of the bots that actually won or lost that amount. So the biggest bar, of course, is 65% because they won that $300 and they stopped playing. But here you can see the bots that lost $800, 13.4%, that lost $700, so they won one and then lost the second, that's 11.6%. And then the bots that lost $600, so they won the first two, but then lost the 600, lost on the third attempt, that was 10.1%. I also like to compare how much they win when they win versus how much they lose when they lose. And this is a very lopsided strategy because you can lose relatively big, but you're not going to win a whole lot of money. So you can see even on single zero, average loss given a loss is $709, whereas the average win given a win is only $300. So you're taking a lot of risk to win just a little bit of money. And that's why in each one of these cases, the losses significantly outweighs the wins. We can also look at this with our strategy risk profile chart. Now on the X axis, how often do you win from 0% never winning to 100% winning all the time? On the Y axis is the win to loss ratio. This is how much you're actually going to win. And our strategy really lives down here in the grinder section. And that's because it's winning more frequently, but it's not winning a whole lot of money as compared to the bet size. We can also see what happens on individual spins. Now I mentioned before that we have better than 85% chance of winning on the individual spins. And we can see that in this chart. So on the single zero, we have a 13.4% chance of getting whacked. And we have an 86.6% chance of winning on just a single spin. And that's where that number comes from. That's from covering 32 out of the 37 numbers or 32 out of 38 numbers or 32 out of 39 numbers. So how much do you actually win and lose per spin? Well, the typical amount is $100, right? Most spins you're going to win, and most of the time you're going to win $100. That's how the strategy works. But sometimes you're going to lose, and when you lose, you're going to be losing $800. So what bankroll do you need? This is easy one. It's $800. That's the way that this simulation was designed. It requires $800 to play the strategy. You could also play it at lower levels and maybe I'll do simulations of that at another time. Just remember you're looking at eight units, three units each on the dozens, one unit on those corner bets. Another thing I like to look at is the betting power. And what this does is it tells us how long that you're going to be able to play for this amount of money. So for every $100 buy-in, the bots were making about $250 or so in total bets. Now that's not a huge amount. And what that means is that this isn't a strategy that is gonna keep you at the table for a very long time. And that's not a surprise. We're doing three hits and out and that's it. So I have a couple of metrics about playing experience. When it comes to hit frequency, how many spins do you actually win something? 80 something percent, that's uh, near constant. You're having at least one win because you're covering 32 numbers. Loss frequency is 100% because you're making bets that aren't um, completely aligned. So sometimes you're, if you're gonna win, you're also gonna lose. And hedge frequency, there's constant hedge frequency because again, you have one bet win, one bet loses. Now, how much volatility you're going to experience with the strategy? Well, it's relatively smooth and relatively mild. You're not going to see a huge amount of swings either way with this strategy. And that's partly because it's a very quick strategy. It's just three hits and you're out. And it's also because you don't win a huge amount of money. Now, you can lose $800, but that's it. Or you could win $100. So it's not a lot of movement in either direction. So how long does this keep you at the table? This is a quick in and out strategy. So if we assume 30 spins per hour, then typically this is about a six minute strategy. So two minutes per spin, three spins, and you're done. These charts show us where the money is won and lost by individual bets. So you can see most of the money lost and actually most of the money won is on those dozens. And um, the corners have a little bit less of an effect.
Okay, so now it's time for our true score analysis. So this is my rating system. We're going to start off rating the roulette single zero. House edge, moderate house edge. It's pretty average, 2.53%. You're going to be probably a lot worse if you're playing uh, slots or things like that, but there are games where you can do a little bit better. This is single zero, remember. Profit and loss balance. This is mostly wins. We saw this before. Most of the time, this strategy is going to win, but sometimes it's going to have some pretty bad losses, and that's going to lose the entire eight hundred dollars or six or you know seven hundred dollars or six hundred dollars, depending on if you won the first one or two attempts with this. Volatility is smooth, so the swings aren't very huge. The jackpot factor is capped. Your best sessions barely cover your losses because you're only winning $100 in your best sessions, but you're losing $800 in some of your sessions. So jackpot factor is not very good. This isn't going to get you rich. Betting power is also limited. This is a short uh, sessions kind of strategy. So player ratings. So these are the different player personas. What would this strategy be best for? The rating that it gets highest is that paycheck player. So this is the player that likes to go to this casino, maybe every day or on a regular basis, throw down some money, give it one chance, try to make that hundred bucks, and then walks out. So a decent percent of the chance you sell it, what, 60% of the time you're going to be successful, but when you lose, you're going to win, lose quite a bit of money. And bankroll, we're always going to need $800 for the strategy. That's just the way it is. We don't see a whole lot of changes when we go into double zero other than house edge starts to get elevated. And because of that, the paycheck player drops down to three stars rather than four. Everything else is relatively the same. You know, volatility went up as we saw a little bit earlier. And then on the triple zero, my favorite triple zero. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, then we start to see the substantial house edge, and this is where it starts to get really expensive. This is expensive entertainment if you want to play strategies like this or really any strategy on a triple zero roulette wheel. So that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate you watching. I hope that you enjoyed my first roulette video. Again, please give a subscribe, please like the video, and please share it with your friends because I would really like to make this channel a success and give you some great information about what happens with a real roulette strategy. Thanks for watching and good luck at the tables.